What's going on, everybody? It's your pal Burrito Johnson from Unleash the Robots, uh, coming at you with a blue icicle tutorial on how to get the damn thing to work. Um, I actually used to own uh, an icicle uh, about two years ago, back in the back in the day, back in the simple days where you could just actually just plug it in. Windows will recognize it, and you were just ready to go. And those were the fun days. Uh, and now I purchased another one. Uh, today because it was dirt cheap uh, you guys might, might actually want to check it out this is still a, a great device if you could get it to work um, I've been seeing a lot of videos out there um, trying to get this thing work and you know uh, there's a lot of videos out there um, you know trying to get you tutorials on how to get the damn thing to work and maybe they work for other people but for me it doesn't um, for some reason with Windows 7 64 uh, bit operation system um, it, it, it does not mesh well um, somewhere along the line over the past couple of years with Windows updates and this and that um, the icicle became incompatible and uh, just a pain in the ass to install uh, like I found out today you know I got home I'm like yeah I'm gonna try this out I'm excited I'm gonna do some voiceovers some you know commentary on some streaming and I plug it in and like you know, it starts installing the drivers and then it comes back cannot install. So I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I just got to restart my computer, whatever. Same thing. Um, so I hope this video helps you out, help you guys out. I can't guarantee that it'll, it'll work for everybody, but um, f for my Windows 7 64-bit system, I got it to work. I am obviously uh, talking to you guys. Um, through the uh, through my a uh, Audio Technica AT2020 using the Icicle um, device. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to Device Manager, and you're going to go to Sound, Video, and Game Controllers. <clears throat> now, if you install um, the 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 Icicle, it's not going to show up anywhere. Usually, you know, usually if you install a, a compatible USB device, the, the the thing will show up in you know on this list. But because it's uh, for some reason it's not, uh, it's actually going to show up right here. And for the most part, when you do install it for the first time, it's going to be um, it's going to come back as uh, it's going to have like a little yellow uh, exclamation mark right here at the bottom where I'm pointing the mouse. Now that's where the problem lies. Um, it's somehow trying to install multi-channel. The drivers are clashing with each other, um, and it's not allowing um, the icicle to install its drivers or become compatible. Um, if you watch a lot of videos out there, or some of the videos I've seen, they're 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 they they would actually have you um, right-click on it and actually uninstall uh, this uh, this driver. Um, and I've done that. And it doesn't work, only to have it install it back again. It's giving me problems. Um, what I just out of curiosity, I actually decided to update the driver software. Uh, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna click on the uh, update driver software. It's gonna bring you up here. Now a lot of people are are gonna automatically want to do search. Uh, you know, search for an update driver software where you know it searches the internet and all that stuff. And that's not gonna it's not gonna do anything for you. It's just gonna come back. It's going to come back as, um, you know, it's still going to give you the problem. It's going to still come back as uh, cannot install. What I, what you actually want to do is you want to click on Browse My Computer for driver software. And then you're going to click on Let Me Pick from a List of Device Drivers on My Computer. Now, here's, here's what's going to fix your freaking device. And this is what happened to me. Guys, <laughs> this is all trial and, error. trial and error. Yes, but that's how you... That's how you discover how to fix things. Um, what you want to do is you want to click uh, the you want to click on USB audio device. That's what you want to do. You don't want to click on the USB multi-channel audio device because that's where it's that's where it somehow clashes with Windows or something like that, and it doesn't allow the icicle to 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 work. So you want to click on the USB audio device, and you just want to hit next, and it's gonna uh, it's gonna start basically installing the driver, and it's going to um, basically enable your device now here's the thing um, it's not going to the thing is for some reason and I'm okay with this it's not gonna it's not gonna be named icicle like it usually does but instead it's gonna be called 
uh, it's going to be under microphone, under USB multi-channel audio device. Um, that's what you want. That's where I have it set, and that's how I'm talking talking to uh, to you through my uh, game capture card, and um, and uh, it's it, it enables it, and it work. It's been working flawlessly. So again, um, this may not work for everybody. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please uh, comment at the bottom. And if it worked for you, please let me know. Uh, because, again, I don't know how this will work on, an, on a Windows 7 32-bit operating system. Um, it could be different. Um, but this is this is like I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk this off as an alternative um, method to uh, get your icicle up and running. Again, I hope this helped. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out, and I hope uh, and happy New Year.